Hey everybody, it's Mike from Orderflows and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about, you know, another tool set in the Orderflows Trader 7 software called the POC Wave. And the POC Wave is a three bar setup looking at the port of controls over those three bars and how they um, appear in those three bars in relation to each other. Now, before I jump in again, if you enjoy my videos, be sure to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know, you support really does go a long way in helping me uh, create more content for this channel. All right, so the POC wave, you know, I first uh, I wrote about the POC wave years ago, I think around 20, I had it in a course in 20, um, I think it was 2017 or no, 2018. Um, when I cr created the order flows uh, point of control trading course and actually I had this years ago I, I thought I was going to uh, program my stuff for Sierra charts I had uh, some guy program this for me on Sierra charts so uh, you know I, it's sort of been on the back burner and I, I wrote about it but I never bothered with it for Ninja Trader for some reason because I, I thought you know it should be very visual for people to see and then uh, you know, just over the past year people have been telling me yeah you know the POC wave I, I use it um, you know, in, in this market and, and on this type of chart, and it, it works fantastic. So, you know, I said, like, hey, you know, I should put it in, I should actually have it in my software. Um, that's why we, we've added it in, in the latest version of the Order Flows Trader software. So, let me just uh, add it onto the chart here. Okay, so you're going to go on to your footprint chart, your Order Flow Trader footprint chart go to the indicator settings, find the POC wave here. Okay, so you can enable it and you can enable the swing filter, but I won't do that for now. The draw mode, I'll keep it fixed. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like first. Um, it's going to be bullish waves are blue. Bearish waves are going to be red color. The opacity is set at 20. Might be a little bit hard to see on this, but I'll, I'll make it a little bit stronger here um, f just for this uh, video here. I'll just make it 70, but you can keep it at 20. Okay, so let's just go back here and take a look here. So see this red box here this is a bearish POC wave okay it's a three bar setup right you got green bar red bar red bar so green bar point of control comes in someplace then next bar is a red bar with a higher point of control third bar is a red bar with a lower point of control from the initial bar so bar one bar two bar three bar one this is the green candle bar for a bearish setup it's going to start green and then go red red Market's going to trade higher, put a little volume above the previous high volume area. Then market's going to start to go down and it's going to um, <clears throat> put in a lower point of control. Okay. Now, let's see, where's the bullish one? Here's a bullish one. So it starts off a bullish one is a red candle with a green bar. And then third bar is green candle. Point of control in the first bar. Okay. That's like your starting point. Second bar comes in the lower point of control and it's a green candle third bar is a green candle with a higher point of control than the first bar so point of control one two is lower three is higher than the first one okay so second bar's point of control is lower than the first one the third point of control is higher than the first point of control okay now you notice what we do we put a box around here okay there's a couple things we call there one we we put a box around the entire three bars okay and then at the low the second bar is low if it's a bullish one we have this zone drawn out here there's this blue area okay for a bearish one right it's red color box how do i know it's a bearish one because i know it starts out green followed by two red bars just as a bullish one i know it's going to be bullish it starts out red followed by two green bars Got the box around the bearish one you got that little zone drawn out there the way you trade this okay and there's two things to keep in mind the way you trade it one the the low of this box right the box around the three bars that's where you're going to be getting short from this line up here this red line that's your stop price just as here the area you're going to get long from is the top of this blue box so right here 2185.3 that's where you want to be long from 
your stop, 84 point, well, right below this, so 84, 2184. Just as here, your area you want to get short is 84.6 with a stop just above this at 2186.6. Okay. Your, this is where you get short. This is where you get short. This is where you trail your stop. This is where you trail your stop. Okay. Now, people say, well, wouldn't you want to trail your stop from the top of the box? Well, I mean, you could, but really what we find is when you have the PLC wave and it's going to hold, it, it won't go back above the second bars, high or low. Okay, now, what you can do, again, put it in context, right? And this is where it becomes really powerful because... Look, okay, I'll be honest, right? Here's a PLC wave, PLC wave, PLC wave, PLC wave, right? PLC wave, this one obviously failed, you know, even though it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, people say, well, you know, there was one here, it didn't work out. Well, yeah, okay, you wouldn't be taking this trade because it didn't go below here. But what I always say, where is the best trading opportunity is going to come from? Well, it's going to come from swing highs or swing lows, okay? Good buying opportunities come off of lows. Good selling opportunities come off of highs. All right. So, you know, because there'll be people who say, oh, you know, I took this trade here and it went up a tick, two ticks, three ticks, and it stopped me out. Okay. Well, really, I should have been long from much lower here at 82 instead of getting long at 84.6 or even down here. So by using the swing filter... Okay, where are we here? POC wave. Enable swing filter. Again, it's linked to this swing period right here. Click apply. Click OK. Now it's going to only show me the bullish and bearish signals coming in at swing lows or swing highs. Okay, so this one, okay, this one, again, you wouldn't have gotten long because it didn't break out above the top of this box. You see there was that one that was there, the bearish one's not showing up. So you can see it cleans it up a lot, right? And it's giving you, in my opinion, much higher percentage trades that have, you know, more capacity to run. You know, from a swing high here, you know, we're talking 78, 2178, down to 75. There, again, a move from 75. I don't know if that, that doesn't even come, it comes close to stopping you out. Gets down to 71 before it goes all the way back up to 80. It's a nice move here from, you know, what is that, 87 down into the 70s. This one, well, you wouldn't have gotten short because it didn't go below this, the low of the box here. Um, you know, that's gold, you know, I don't know, crude oil. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for that. I'm just getting over this really bad <coughs> influenza. It's not COVID. But uh, I think I, I, I want to say thank God it's not COVID. But honestly, <coughs> you know, Anytime you get a cough, everyone says, oh, you got COVID. Um, you know, here's a nice, there's one, I'll say nice one. Here's one, okay, you can see the high of this bar, or the high of the box, rather, is at 77.93, okay, which <clears throat> doesn't get traded through for one, two, three, four, five, six minutes, okay? Now, granted, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, Um would you take that trade? Probably not, because it's 2 o'clock on Friday. But this one here at 1 o'clock, 108, the high of the box, 77.73, it, or 70, 72 rather, but 73 is where you'd get long from 73 all the way up above uh, 78 bucks. Here's one. Again, it just struggled. You know, okay, that one probably stopped you out. It's a bullish one here. There's a bearish one here. Here's a nice little move here. 
there's a nice move here. But really on Friday, if you remember, the, the big move in crude came uh, came overnight. It's really, really hard to see on a time-based chart. But uh, let's, let's put this on a range-based chart. Okay. Let's see, let's see, here's a short to a long to a short. There's a short here. Some shorts back, you know, a little bit of back and forth. It's the thing when you're trading a range based chart, right? You get, sometimes you get these quick trades, what I call quick trades, um, especially when the market is volatile, because it'll go up three or four bars, come off three or four bars, back up three or four bars. Right here, there. You know, it's just as I'm talking about, bing, bing, bing. And some traders like that, right? Because they, they're, they're in and out scalping uh, back and forth. It really just depends on your style of trading, right? But look at this move from overnight, right? The nice bearish wave coming in around 79.80, right? The low is 84. Maybe if you're getting short around 80, say 75, 79.75, 75, it breaks all the way down to the, the bullish one down here at 78.65 so it was over a one dollar move so yeah and that's the POC wave it, it's again it's a nice tool to use by itself and it's a nice tool you could use to complement with other forms of order flow analysis where is it here POC wave here so again you know see how it will work on your trading You know whether you want to use it uh, with a swing filter or not is up to you all right everyone take care see you guys on the next video